The world's biggest names minus the retired Phil Taylor are well underway in this year's Premier League and now only eight players remain. Judgment night saw Mensah Solovic exit the competition alongside the already eliminated Gerwin Price. The players now make their way over to Sheffield for night 11. So here I am ready to throw over some great tips. The first tie of the evening sees Raymond van Barneveld take on Daryl Gurney. And Gurney's form in the Premier League has improved over the last few weeks. He's now unbeaten in five matches. Gurney will need a win here to be in the race for a top four spot, but perhaps not as urgently as Barney, who sits just below Gurney in the table. The last couple of weeks have been disappointing for Van Barneveld. Last week we saw him get whitewashed 7-0 by Michael Smith. The Lutchman also lost in the first round of the Players' Championship qualifier on Saturday as well. But this bad spell has got to end somewhere, so I'm calling a draw in this one. It's an all-Scottish affair in match two as Gary Anderson plays Peter Wright. The Flying Scotsman has been by far the more consistent player compared to Peter Wright, who hasn't won since night two of the competition. But Snakebite scraped through judgment night thanks to draws in his last two matches. The last time these rivals played each other, it was brilliant, with Anderson battling back to get a six-all draw. Although Anderson lost his first Premier League game in six last week, I feel he's got enough skill to recover in this week and perform on the Premier League stage, unlike Snakebite. So I'm going for an Anderson win. The third match of the evening sees Simon Whitlock play Premier League leader Michael Van Gerwen. And although Whitlock beat Price last week, the performance was poor and the Wizard averaged less than 82, which doesn't tend to get you very far in this competition. Meanwhile, Van Gerwen's form has been excellent recently. His victory over Mensa Solovic last week was his eighth win in the Premier League and seventh in a row. He's also picked up two European Tour titles in the past three weeks, so he'll be coming into this one on a high. MVG hit an incredible 1080s last week and it would be no surprise if he outscores the Australian in this one. So I'm going for MVG most 180s. The penultimate match of the night sees the two Englishmen go head to head as Michael Smith takes on Rob Cross. Smith has been playing really well recently. He followed up on his unbelievable thrashing of RVB in Liverpool by claiming a Players' Championship qualifier title on Saturday. Cross has also had a good debut season in the Premier League himself. After a tough start, he's now won six of his last seven matches and is approaching the sort of form that saw him win the World Championships in January. Across the Premier League season so far, Smith's average is the lowest of the remaining eight players and he's hit the fewest number of 180s of those left in the competition. Cross can usually be relied upon to hit a solid number of maximums, but with more momentum behind Smith, I'm predicting this leading Englishman to take the win. For the next four weeks, two players who have already played once in the evening will return to stage for a second game. And this week, it's the turn of Raymond Van Barneveld and Peter Wright. So when these two played each other earlier in the season, Barney won 7-1, although that was during a period when Wright was struggling for form. So I'm leaning towards Snakebite in this one as he's got better consistency and stamina to cope with two matches on a night and will certainly have more in the tank than Barney. Both need the win regardless of their results earlier in the night, but you could argue Peter needs it more given his position in the table. So I'm going for right to win 7-5.